Well, you know, this fighter, as he makes the walk tonight, is going to be looking to lean on the speed and the footwork in this particular matchup. Got to keep the hands high, right? You got to stick and move and get the head off the center line, given the power that's coming back. But I'm just not sure that the opponent can match the quickness. Exceptionally fast on the feet. Very good at using angles to set up his offensive attacks and very sound defensively as well. So has the reach advantage, figures to be able to use it here tonight. This is one slick striker with which to contend. about the state of this 135 pound division, how it's never been stronger, and yet, this guy's starting to distance himself from the pack a little bit. Outstanding grappler, and more often than not, he's gonna have a big advantage in that one. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that separates Al Jermaine, is that he's one of those guys that tells you what he's gonna do, and then he goes and he does it. Nothing's more discouraging for a fighter than to know what you have to defend and still not be able to defend it. Aljamain Sterling is a beast. Now, he did hint to us in the fighter meeting that he thought he could win this fight without chaining takedown. So perhaps we'll see a strike-heavy approach here from Sterling Earl early. We shall see. Aljamain Sterling. He is ready to go. That means so are we for our main event of the year. for this featherweight fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Al Jermaine Punkmaster Sterling. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready, He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. All right, so here's Al Jermaine Sterling. Hasn't necessarily been a fast starter in the UFC. There's no denying the toughness, the creativeness, his scrambling ability. You know about the wrestling acumen, but he uses his length very well. This is a hard guy to hit, and it looks like he'll be hard to hit here out of the shoot tonight. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Lands a jab. Nice liver shot lands. All right, so an early takedown for Aljamain Sterling. A good sign for him. We'll see if he can transition to the back at some point. Aljo does a good job of using his lift to secure takedowns. He fakes and he shoots that hard double leg to take his opponents down. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got a very, very bad one. Big knee lands there. Oh, that's big. Hard shots. jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Massive left hand. That one was going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He needs to start looking to finish it because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big right hand there. Big uppercut. Big shot. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive upset. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Sterling. Oh, nasty cut there right on the bridge of the nose. Come on, come on. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Oh, shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up like I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay stand to show and talk to your toughness. Oh. Back to his back and kicks here, but just out of range. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stuck. He got hurt again. Well, he's landed a few big... He got him hurt bad here. Oh, another ground strike gets through. Dean steps in. Oh, my goodness. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.